Hi, my name's Rebecca and I'm the site manager. I've been working in construction for about four years altogether. Originally, I actually studied English at university and I decided at about 19 that it definitely wasn't, wasn't the path for me. I've got family who work in construction and it started off with just doing a little bit of work experience and I quickly fell in love with the role. My morning usually starts about seven, half seven, um, and I'll do a quick walk around site, make sure every, everybody's set up to where they should be working for that day, um, and then I'll do a subcontractor meeting, getting everybody who's a supervisor into the room, what are you doing today, have you thought about this, what about this, what about this? Um, basically a reminder of programme and what they should be doing. It's a busy job, it keeps you, my steps are definitely, <laughs> my steps are definitely up. Um, but yeah, I love my role, I do love it. I think it definitely is still predominantly male focused. Um, I think the role itself does get a bit of a bad reputation. Um, people don't always think the role is what it actually is, they have this assumption that it'll be something completely different to what it is um, so my managerial role is very very similar to any other sectors it just happens that there's a bit more mud involved in my role I think it's quite intimidating definitely at first the industry has this big image of being you know mean and a bit cruel and a bit hard-hitting and there's times when it is a hard, it is a really hard role, but it's completely a supportive industry to work in. And I think anyone who's got ambition to have a good career um, would really enjoy working in construction. Definitely surprised. Um, I even have it now on site when someone says, oh, like, who's the site manager? And it's just me. People kind of look at you like, are you sure? Are you, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's me. <laughs> um, yeah, they're definitely surprised, but I think that goes back to you shouldn't stereotype a role. It should be whatever, you know, academic or personality traits um, that you have can fit any role regardless of your gender. I've always been really lucky with the people I've worked with. Um, they've always been very, very supportive and very understanding. You know, if I'm saying it's white and someone's saying it's black, I need someone in my corner saying, no, it is white. Um, especially as a young younger woman. Um, and I've always had that. I'm not a aggressive, shouty person and I didn't want to have to be that to do my role. I didn't want to have to come across male, in a sense, to get respect and to be able to do my job well. So it does take a lot of confidence and, you know, it, it does take a while to build up your own um, managerial style. I think for me, it would be breaking the stereotype roles. Um, I know for a lot of women, it's a horrible kind of pressure being put on us to pick a family or a career. And I don't think that that should be the case. I think, you know, if you're the right person for the role, you've got the right skills, um, the role should be flexible to be able to, to everyone to have both. Um, and I think in terms of, you know, younger, younger people and education, it's just getting the access, the reach into schools earlier on. And I think if you're, if you're academic, you don't really think of construction. Um, you know, you think, oh, I'm gonna be a teacher or a doctor, or, but it's actually such a fulfilling, interesting role. Um, if you are academic or if you're not academic, you, you can still reach, reach a really good um, position. I'd say that, uh, give it a go. Don't be intimidated by people. Um, you don't have to be a certain way or be a stereotypically male personality or anything, you know. I have my nails done, I have my hair down, you know. I am who I am and I don't change my personality because it's a stereotypically male role. Um, and I think you'd be pleasantly surprised, you know, if you did a week experience or just got a little flavour of it. Um, a lot of women would really love it because women are good at organising and managing people. But it's the best thing that we're good at. Um, you know, we are. We're good at telling people what to do and bossing them around. So why not? Give it a go.